What a play. Oh, man, what a catch that was. <laughs> you better believe it. That was something. Watch the drag of the ball all the way across the ground there. He does amazing things. Today we're going to talk about proprioception. Proprioception is the ability to be aware of your location and movements without visual references. Proprioception contributes to the development of body awareness, spatial awareness, and directional awareness. Just use proprioception uh, in the sport of basketball. He was able to turn around um, and make a shot not seeing where the hoop was. So what we see here is as the ball is being thrown, uh, when he sees the ball, he's going to start running. And um, upcoming, we see the targets or balls being thrown at him, and he has to dodge them, uh, which he's obviously not looking directly at the balls, but knows that they're coming at him. And so he has to use the proprioception to be able to jump and maneuver around them. This could be applied to, uh, to a baseball player or a football player, hockey, anything like that. Okay, so another part of proprioception is um, your vestibular um, part, uh, which comes through your ears, your brain, your feet, and your eyes. And so what we're going to do here is a test that helps test for proprioception and also some of that vestibular uh, impairment. Um, so we're going to watch, and what we're going to do is have her put her feet on a line and put her hands out in front of her, and then she's going to march 50 times. So we're going to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, As you can see, she stayed in just about the same place, um, showing that she has proprioception even though she's not looking at the line, she still is able to stay somewhat near it. And this can be repeated again with the eyes closed and usually see a little bit more movement. But yeah. All right, so what we see here is um, the other half of that test is doing it with your eyes closed, the same marching. And this is something that I have had to do recently because of a concussion and there's been problems with like um, vestibular impairment and weakness and so I had to do this test at physical therapy and did the same thing and most people will move a little bit and turn a little bit however as you'll see in this I move a lot and I turn almost completely around um, showing that I don't have very good sense of where I'm at when my eyes are closed. Proprioception is critical in the development of static and dynamic balance. <laughs> All right, so what we see here is another example of proprioception. Um, so obviously, his, because he's on the Boku ball, his feet are kind of taken out a little bit. And he's not looking at the ball as it's being thrown to him, but he's still able to catch the majority of them. In conclusion, proprioception is an important aspect of athletic performance because it helps the athlete to know where he is in space 
without it, the athlete would be less coordinated and more likely to fall down or miss the ball or not be able to perform his sport to the best of his ability.